1996, the Jubilee 150 Education Committee ran a special outdoor education project called Youth Trek. Youth Trek offered thousands of young South Australians the opportunity to participate in activities centering around the Heysen Trail in the Flinders Ranges. Named after the artist Sir Hans Heysen, it spans almost 2,000 kilometres from Cape Jarvis in the south to Mount Babbage in the north. Young people became involved in projects ranging from cultural heritage research to independent, self-motivated bush camps. Through Youth Trek, young people gained a new awareness of the world around them and learnt much about South Australians' heritage in the Flinders Ranges. To learn more about our natural heritage, Hawthorne Dean Primary School students made a study of the flora and fauna of the Mount Lofty Ranges. Well, that red flower down there is the running postman. What about this one? Is this one there? Yeah, is that it? Yeah, that looks like it. Do you know what that flower's called? A donkey orchid. You know what it's called? A donkey orchid? Yep. yep. It's like there's the ears, there's the eyes, and there's the mouth. Do you know what that is? It's Gravillia. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, we got it. And there's the, it looks like on the book. Tetraphecus, I think. Tetrapheta. It's purple. It has a mauvey colour. Prickly. Oh, whoops. Not prickly. What sort of birds do you recognise on there? Well, there's a superb blue wren. That one's a honey eater. New Holland honey eater. That's a female blue wren. Lots of lots of those come yeah, on our gravillia bushes at school. Yeah, just outside the wet area. And what else are you going to be looking for besides birds? Um, Freshwater organisms. We're going to be catching them with nets made out of pantyhose. On returning to school, the students continued to research the information they had collected on the excursion. But these birds here will be smaller or larger than a sparrow? Smaller. smaller. Well, these are that. Now, do you think its tails are upright or not? Yes, they are upright. That tells us that it's a superb blue wren. Well, on the scene, I saw a superb blue wren. We're going to see part of the golf course. What we've got to do is we've got to do an acid test on these rocks, or maybe just this rock. Mm -hmm. That's a sheet. That's so we can identify the rocks. What are you going to do? We're going to uh, get the pipe and just put your finger on it. Then we're going to put it on the rock, and if it fizzes, we can check on the chart where it says. Uh, acid and fizz and then from there on we can um, determine what type of rocket is. Mm -hmm. It must be that one, fizz with acid. Now, um, nodules, white or brown or crystals, any colour or shells or fragments. Now that'd have to be nodules, white or brown, wouldn't it? Yes. So that means that'd be calcrete or soil limestone. Hans Heysen, 1877 to 1968. An Australian artist became famous for his paintings of the Australian countryside, especially in the northern part of the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. And what's the map of? Um, the Heysen Trail. It travels from up there, all around there. And it's, the whole Heysen Trail is 1,500 kilometres. As part of their studies about the Heysen Trail, students from Handorf Primary School visited Sir Hans Heysen's studio, now kept by his son David Heysen. They fascinated him. Uh, there's a gum tree in every hour of the day. That's 365 days of the year. Would look different to him. It's not just painting the same gum tree. It's painting the effects of light on it, of the atmosphere, of the the whole. If you observe it very closely. Gumtree is never the same. Different all the time. So, did you find out why the Heysen Trail was named after Sir Hans Heysen? Yes, because, because um, he always painted along there. He painted about nearly all of the scenery at um, along the Heysen Trail, and he did a favourite place to paint. 
The Youth Trek journal was used by many students as a way of recording information and their feelings about experiences on the Hyson Trail. On Wednesday the 8th of October our class went for a 10 kilometre hike to, along the Hyson Trail. On the Youth Trek my magic spot was on the log which was over a, a pond and I, I saw a few ducks and I felt um, a little bit happy and a little bit sad. And then we had to do our magic spot at Arbury Park. Yeah, magic spot, what's that? Well, you just had to pick somewhere where you like the best and just no, reasons why you like, like the best. Oh yeah, Mr Holt said um, we could keep, keep our journals and say in 20 years time have a look at them and see if you can remember all the things that we did.